Hey everyone, welcome back to SG Karma. So hot on the heels of the recent unveiling of the new DB12 Volante, Aston Martin Singapore is now bringing a second model to town and that is the new Aston Martin Vantage. And a lot of this car has been changed, right? It's got a new look, an upgraded interior, and a whole lot more power. So let's go upstairs and check out the car. So here it is, the new Aston Martin Vantage. And a lot of this car is new, so let's check out all the new bits on this Vantage. Now we obviously have to start with the most obvious and noticeable change, and that is the new huge front grille. Specifically, this grille is 38% bigger than before, and there's a very important reason for that, right? And that is more airflow. Specifically, 29% more airflow, and that's to deal with the extra power under the bonnet. Now, the headlights on this car are also very different from before. It looks a little bit like the DB12 one, and that's because this is Aston Martin's new light signature. So these are full LED matrix headlights with that very specific DRL design. Now, if we move on to the side of the car, you will find standard 21-inch forged alloy wheels. We also have the iconic Aston Martin side straight, so they are back, they weren't on the previous Vantage. And if the camera pulls on over, you'll be able to see that we have here frameless wing mirrors. Now, let's check out the back. Now, here at the rear of the car, the first thing I want to point out is that this car is 30mm wider than before and that's all in the rear track, right? Wider tyres, wider rear tracks. Beyond that though, from a design perspective, the car looks fairly familiar. You know, we have the same light signature and of course, we have the quad tailpipes because this is a sports car. Now, if we pop the boot, now here we have a 346 litre boot and for a sports car, I think that's fairly decent. But more importantly perhaps is this. So this is additional bracing here at the back and that really contributes to the car's overall improved torsional rigidity. Now before we jump inside the car, obviously this car comes with some options available. Carbon fibre, obviously. So we have front splitter, side skirt, rear diffuser as well as this carbon fibre roof. Now let's go check out the inside of the car. Now, inside the Vantage, if this cabin looks familiar, it's because it is, it's supposed to be. This is very, very familiar to what you will find in the new DB12. Specifically, of course, we have the new digital look, right? We have a 10.25 inch infotainment here. This runs Aston Martin's own software, so it's their own, you know, UI, UX. We also, of course, have the fully digital cluster as well. Now, this center stack, again, is going to be very familiar from what you find in DB12. The buttons are exactly the same, right? So you're Gear selector is here, your engine start is here, you have your knob here for controlling your drive mode, stuff like that, you know. All the different functions, you can make the car louder, make the car stiffer, make the car slidier, whatever you want to do. Now, some other important changes perhaps is that on the steering wheel, for example, these pedals, they are now steering wheel mounted, not column mounted, which means that when you turn, the pedals go along with your hand. So that's useful for if you are changing gears mid-corner, for example. And beyond that, if we look around me, you know, it's a very compact, very sporty cabin. This is a sports car and there are obviously also going to be some fancy options available. Carbon fiber everywhere, which you can see on the car right now. And also this Bowers & Wilkins sound system, 15 speakers over 1000 watts. If you want the music very, very nice, very, very loud, that's the option to have. Now, we obviously have to talk about performance and power specifically. So, under the bonnet, we have a 4-litre V8 engine sourced from AMG but produces 656 brake horsepower and 800 newton meters of torque. So, that's a power bump of more than 150 brake horsepower and it's a 30% increase in power. And just for a little context, right, it's basic building blocks is an AMG engine but you know Aston Martin has been allowed to pick and choose different parts so it has a different turbocharger and that's why it produces so much power now and that means that this car can do 0 to 100 in 3.5 seconds now obviously the car has to be able to cope with all the additional power right so that big grill up front is to provide more cooling for the engine and the chassis so this is a bonded aluminum chassis it's also stiffer than before 1.1 percent stiffer and of course this car also gets intelligent adaptive dampers and all the you know electronics to be able to cope with all that power and to allow you to put that power down on the road with confidence So that's a quick look at the new Vantage. How much is all of this performance going to cost you? Well, 1.068 million and that's before COE. And we understand that first customer deliveries will begin towards the end of this year. 
So yes, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Do remember to like, share and subscribe to our channel. And you can hit the notification bell to be alerted of all our upcoming videos. And of course, also check us out on TikTok at SGKarma. So that's all I have. I'll see you soon. Bye.